Victory Till Last. Um, as many of you know that have played this game, the robot factory is a fucking nightmare. And I actually only have two ESP mines. Um, so this could be legitimately very, very fucking difficult. But, so again, I went to the library to kind of stock up on ammo and things first before I took this on. So this is the final thing. And then after I do this quest, again, if I survive, that's basically the book done. So, oh, nice old guy. What you had to eat? I've only had a sandwich myself this morning. I had a sandwich with ham, tomato, cucumber, cheese, and a little bit of mayo. And then I had some couscous with that as well. Ooh. And I've got a banana next to me as well. <laughs> which I'm going to fucking gobble. Yo, Fallout, how you doing, bud? Long time no see. Ramia, thanks for that. Again, if there is any lag, I do apologise, guys. But it's more than likely is going to be Twitch. <clears throat> am I going to go through the main story? Of course I am, Punny, of course. Yeah, I'm just basically doing the side quest because what I want to do is... I just like doing my own thing. You know, I like to explore the world and do things like that. Um, we'll just take it as it comes, basically. You know, right in the face. Anyway, <laughs> just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe. I, oh, actually, you know what? What's it worth to you? Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. That ought to be reward enough, right? But if you insist, uh, I could spare some pulse grenades. Okay, so, just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe. I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Okay. Does she have any optional... Oh, wow, she doesn't have any optionals there. Yeah, I'm not too bad for that. I've not seen you in a while. How you been? I usually do use a uh, webcam ramer, but unfortunately I forgot to enable it because the last thing I streamed was Grand Theft Auto 3. And when I stream the PlayStation 3, uh, I can't have the webcam on because the sound is out of sync, so... Sorry, according to Smurf, I'm banned because I'm too ugly. Twitch have, you know, purposely said you're not allowed to use your webcam because you're disfigured as fuck. You look like roadkill, is basically their words. Um... Okay, I've been thinking about your experiments. Can I ask you something personal? Why, I'm flattered. What would you like to know? Well, you dropped on your head as a baby. Um, hold on a second. Why are you always working on such weird ideas? Well, look around at the world we live in. It may be okay to you, but I've read about what it used to be like, and this wasn't it. So we all need something that keeps us going, despite all the terrible things around us. For me, it's things like this book. Okay. Hmm, I don't understand. Crazy experiments are what keep you going? No, it, it's like... Uh, did you ever try to put a broken piece of glass back together? E even if the pieces fit, you can't make it whole again the way it was. But if you're clever, you can still use the pieces to make other useful things. Maybe even something wonderful, like a mosaic. Well, the world broke just like the glass. And everyone's trying to put it back together like it was. But it'll never come together the same way. You know what? It's, it's batshit crazy as Moira is. That's actually quite a good analogy there. I'll give her that. Hmm. Um. So you're trying to make the world better than it was? I kind of want to say the middle one, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't know. Human nature doesn't just change like that. Maybe. I've certainly heard people say that. But isn't it also human nature to try to do better than we always have? Please, I've got to at least try to make the world better. And I can't do it on my own. I need your help. Oh, Moira. Um, okay, let me see what you have for sale. Sure thing. Oh wow, you've been doing your mock exams. Uh, I'm assuming when you've been doing your mocks, you're from the UK. Um, 
I don't know if it's still the same thing, because again, it's been a while since I left school, but when I did my mock exams, mock was basically like a practice exam of the real exams we were going to have in a couple of months. Basically, what our school did is they gave us last year's real exams to practice on. So... Um, and nice, she's got quite a lot of caps on her as well. Uh, I'm definitely holding on to these bottle cap mines for the robot factory, definitely. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of that, that, that. And these, and then I'm gonna have to go back and put some junk away. Man, I've got so much ammo to sell, but I kind of want to hold on to it for the time being. Mm. Okay, nice. So, I think I should be able to afford some stuff for the Megaton home here. Good hunting. Okay, I'm looking to buy some things for my house. Of course. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Hmm. Okay, tell me about your themes. Oh, no, actually, let's have a look at your stuff. Sure thing. Um... Okay, so here's basically the, the kind of stuff you can buy for the house. Uh, my first infirmary, my first lab. But she had themes as well. I kind of want to get a theme before I start buying this stuff. Okay, I'm interested in the vault theme. You can actually get a love machine theme. I don't know if that's what Jix was on about earlier. <laughs> Hold on a second. What I'm going to do... Sure. Let me go and quit this, and I'm just going to quick save just to see what all these themes look like. Fiddle with any Let's have a look at the loof theme. Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well then, let's make a deal. Okay, so... Oh, love machine theme. Oh, fuck yeah. Good hunting. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Oh, nice pony. Ponies come in prepared. Um, okay, yeah, so, love machine theme. Let's have a look what it looks like. You know this game in Fallout New Vegas? Did they ever touch on topics of relationships and stuff like that? Like, again, you can have companions, but... Y you can't, like, marry people on this, can you, and stuff like that. Oh, are going well fuck, today, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, we've just got basically a heart-shaped bed that looks like something out of Sin City. And a dead, I guess, branch. Welcome home, madam. Uh, I mean, this is basically, again, Dukov's theme, isn't it, really? Yeah, I, ca I kind of wanted a little bit more. Oh! Fuck it hell. Fuck it hell. Look at the amount of stuff here. Okay, well, so that's the love theme. It looks kind of basic. Um, let's see what else we've got. Fiddle with any inter... Let's have a look. 
so pre-war theme i'm assuming obviously the pre-war theme is going to be you know like a tv couch uh radio oh feeling a bit nostalgic are we remember once you buy a theme you can't sell it back to me although you could always purchase a new one what? okay let's have a look uh pre-war theme there we go so what I'm going to be able to afford is basically a pre-war theme, maybe a library or an infirmary, and then one of these. Good hunting. Um. Oh man, I hated doing French in school. We could actually choose from German, French, and Russian, and for some reason I chose French. Oh god. To be fair, it did help when uh, I went with my friends to Marseille for, for bull riders, so. Yeah, je m'appelle Patrick. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's my bit of French. I kind of like this. This looks cozy, this pre-war theme. I mean, the intact garden gnome basically completes this, if I can be brutally honest. And there's a nice little Persian rug on the floor. Um, you know what? This looks pretty fucking spunky, if you don't mind me saying so. This looks like a home for someone that's busy, you know, working nine to five. Fiddle with any inter. Science theme. The Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Okay, sounds good to me. Well then, let's make a deal. Uh, right, let's go and sort this out. Oh wow, you took... F wow, have you ever been to France, Maggie? Again, I kind of feel sorry for, you know, the people in the US, because, again, for you to leave the United States is going to cost a fortune just to go anywhere. Good hunting! Okay, Good. let's rock and roll. Let's have a look at this. What did you just say? You hate cheese. What? Liking cheese is a given. To be fair, um, I think I saw this a year or two ago. Apparently, the Brits have the best cheese. So, oh wow, this looks really dark. Actually, this theme. Wow, I'm not a big fan of this. Not gonna lie. I hope you guys don't mind me checking each one of these themes because I'm sure the last time I bought one, um, well, I actually forgot to buy one. This kind of reminds me of an abandoned vault with the dark lights and stuff. It's okay. So far, the pre-war theme has been the best one. Or at least the coziest one. Fiddle with any interesting technology? Okay. Wasteland Explorer. This could be interesting. Longing for the great outdoors, are we? Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back. Okay. Well. Good hunting. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Sure. God damn it. Okay, let's have a look at this. Vampyr, can you do me a favor and this again just goes out to not you but everyone in chat. I've never played this game as a bad karma character. Um, I plan on replaying this and obviously blowing Megatunnel. Please don't tell me what happens and what you get. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, this poster's kind of neat, but it looks like I've basically stolen a, a fucked up picnic bench. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not too bad. It, it looks kind of retarded that they've just dumped a picnic bench in the middle of the living room, but... Yep, 
Yeah. Don't worry, I think I've only got one or two themes left. Sorry if I'm boring you guys, but yeah, I do want to start investing my Fiddle money with any the house. interesting technology lately? Okay, Raider theme. Am I going to be expecting people hung from the ceiling? Into the bloody you know, guts like look, decapitated eh? corpses. <laughs> Remember. Uh, Raider theme, there we go. Good hunting! Okay, let's have a look. Time travel. That's another game I'm looking forward to playing on the PC. I had a lot of fun with Skyrim on the PS3, even though it basically ran like shit and it didn't look amazing. But, again, when I play Skyrim, I'm going to play like a... Oh my good god. Wow. I'm not going to lie, I was only joking about the decapitated, you know, victims. Holy shit. This doesn't even look like a raider would live here. You know what this looks like? This looks like a bedroom or a home for a super mutant. You know, with the bags of gore. Jesus. Oh god, there's even blood on the fucking walls. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> oh boy. Oh my good god. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not having this. I might have this. Actually, I won't because I'll be blowing up Megaton when I play as a bad character, but it's a possibility. Fiddle with any. Okay, the final one. Remember. The vault theme. Good hunting. I can't remember if she has or she hasn't, Zach. I know you find out more stuff about Moira later on. I know she's weird for a reason, I think. But again, it's been so long since I've played this game, and bearing in mind, even the standalone game without any of the DLC is hundreds of hours worth of content, so... I mean, th this this vault tech theme kind of reminds me of the science theme. I mean, it looks kind of retarded. We get to sit and watch tapes. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy the pre-war theme and just stick with that. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Of course, if you played around with the systems after that, we'd probably learn even more. But you can deal with that when you get there. The safe word is, oh god, my eye. You've stabbed me in the fucking eye. Thanks for that, Finn. Um, okay. Purchase a. Okay, so, pre war theme. Oh, feeling a bit nostalgic, are we? Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Yay, sounds good to me. Well then, let's make a deal. So, if I buy the pre-war theme, okay, and then if I buy the lab, shit, I'm not going to be able to afford one of these new Kokoda machines or anything. Uh, shit, that'll have to do for the time being, I think. Good hunting! The info you're bringing back is great! Looking forward to more! Okay, let's rock and roll. <clears throat> oh shit, yeah, Zach, have you finally leveled up in CSGO? Have you finally got a rank on CSGO, which means me and you can actually do... 
which means me and you can actually do competitive matchmaking. Wow, hold on a second, let me... Let's go and put this in the corner here somewhere, this little tricycle. There we go, that's nice, right next to the uh, locker there. Let's go and pick this guy up as well, put him back where he was. Actually, that's a little bit close to the door. If we have him... God, it's so awkward with these controls. Okay, if we have him... Fuck it. Ah, fuck it. You can you can lie flat on your face there. There you go now. There you go. Yeah, this looks pretty damn nice here. There we go. Shit, I've put it into the wrong locker. Whew. I forgot I've got designated lockers for armor and stuff like that. There we go, that's better. Uh, I can read all that. I'm going to give all these water to Mike. In fact, you know what? I'm going to keep these waters. If I ever get bad karma, I can be cheap. Oh, I can be oh so cheap. There we go. I'm going to go, before I go to the Robco factory, guys, I'm going to go and I'm going to give these blood packs to Vance the Vampire. So, Golden Over 2, is that the one with the two golden stars and the blue background, Zach? I, again, I have no idea what the ranks are in CSGO. Oh, will it, Punny? Sweet, thanks for that. Never mind, then. Uh, yeah. Let's crack on. Okay, I'm just trying to remember where the hell Vance was. I think it was in Marigold Station, if I remember right. Yeah, can anyone remind me where Vance is? You know, for the quest, those... Actually, no, it wasn't that quest. It was where you find... Oh my god, I can't remember her surname. You find her brother there. You know, with the vampires. I think I need to go to Marigold. I think. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. I'm dead. Have I got any grenades? Please tell me I have grenades. Nice. And then I've got some dick chasing me with a fucking bat on. I'm actually getting fucking Shrek here. Yeah, I'm actually getting fucked up. It's definitely going to be in Boston, I think, old guy. Um, I remember saw in, I, I remember seeing info a while ago that apparently Bethesda scouts were in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, I remember seeing info that Bethesda scouts were in Boston a while ago. Shit, the shotgun's fucked. That's not good. Oh, Maresti Train Yard. Old guy. Again, you're an absolute legend. Thanks for the heads up. I remember it was near a train station, though. That's the thing. I know I can go to Maresti Train Yard, but... Resty train yard. Uh, 
I have no idea where it is. I swear again, I've already been there. Um, it must be so there. Hold on a second. Northwest Seneca Station. Okay. If this is the correct place, it's going to have those extra interiors from the mod DC interiors. Let me go here and just see what happens. Oh my fucking god. This is the correct place. I'm in the correct place here, but... At least this is the way I went down. What's happened here? What's up with these guys? Have the mercenaries followed me down here? Oh my god, don't tell me these guys are going to be going out fighting them. Fuck, I'm going to have to go and uh, kill these guys. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on very hard difficulty, but... I always remember there being one group of them. Mercenaries are after me because I've been a basically a goody two shoes. I'm dead. I'm going to get so messed I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> the money shot. Nice. Okay, so if I just chill for a second. And then if I maybe... Have I still got my rifle equipped? Yes. Oh wow, the train yard is three squares east from Arefu and directly west 